Happy Friday, everybody. This is Joe Cusick, your resident investment advisor, here with your Traders Exclusive. Now, this first week in March has historically been quite bullish, and this week has not disappointed so far. We have the S&Ps up uh, roughly around nine points, and uh, we're going to keep an eye on this this action. It's been extremely bullish, getting over that psychological 2000 level. And you know what, when you see these historical patterns of other calendar months, you know, basically you're looking at the 10th through the 18th, which is next week. It produces about annualized returns of around 37% on the weekly return on the S&P. And that goes back as far as 1950. Um, now that is about four times higher than we uh, approximate, you know, which is roughly around a 9% uh, on the average annual return of the uh, S&P 500, which it's earned basically over the last 65 years. So we're really in a bullish time of year and of the month. Now, at this stage, you know, guess what? Let's look at the setup. Uh, I'm not completely uh, sure that it could have been better scripted than it's been so far in this first week in March. Um, especially since we saw the uh, jobs number that came out that was better than what was expected. Um, we want to keep an eye on something very specific. There's some technical components that I want to keep an eye on. One is, is that you see the MACDs and they're now resetting right around that zero level. And that's very interesting, especially if you're looking at it with a 1226 EMA, um, they're equal. That's telling me something. That's telling me that the momentum that you would want to see with such uh, a, a positive upswing in the markets, universally, the large caps, the major indices, uh, you even have um, the energies and the commodities up. I just don't see it. It's very mixed from my perspective because of the lack of momentum, the lack of conviction, even though we have the positive price movement. We'll also watch the 20 week EMA. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. That's going to be a, 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 right now I'm seeing it suggesting that we could run out of some steam up here. And the, this is an area that I've been talking about over the last couple of weeks that we need to see if the, the bears are actually going to come in. A couple other things. Saw some bearish activity this morning. Wanted to point it out to you in a few names. The first one is Intel. Uh, saw some bearish put activity. They're going, these puts are going to be expiring. Um, basically in the next two weeks. So we want to keep an eye on that. Also saw some uh, bearish activity in Petrobras, uh, PBR. Uh, Brazil has been under pressure. Uh, Petrobras has been under pressure for the last month or so. It has popped with the move in oil. Let's keep an eye on that. There was some two week puts that were being purchased there as well. But we also have some bullish activity and this was very interesting. Las Vegas Sands. Looking at the casinos and knowing that there's some issues in Macau still with their property there. China, a little bit mixed, but obviously it's turning around quite nicely like the markets here in the States. Uh, saw some uh, bullish activity in there, and it was actually some April call options. Want to keep an eye on that sector, uh, especially if the momentum continues. We could see that the consumer is going to benefit uh, Las Vegas Sands, especially if they start traveling with the spring break time coming up in the next couple weeks and months. So that's it for your Traders Exclusive. This is Joe Cusick, your resident investment advisor, wishing you a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week.